Prince Harry couldn't keep the smile from his face as he spontaneously took part in a children's ballet class this afternoon. The Duke of Sussex, 34, was at YMCA South Ealing for an engagement highlighting youth mental health issues, but couldn't resist joining in a session being held for four to six years olds in an activity room at the West London Centre. He gamely stood on one leg and raised his arms in the air as he showed off his balancing skills alongside the little dancers. The father-to-be was particularly taken by three-month-old Naz, who giggled happily in the arms of her mother, Maria Ahmad, when the prince knelt down to speak to them about her sleeping habits. Mother Maria later said, he was asking about her sleeping. I think he's worried about that, if the baby sleeps at night time. The touching scenes come just weeks before Harry and the Duchess of Sussex, 37, are due to welcome their first child together. Prince Harry beamed as he walked into the dance studio, where two rows of well-behaved youngsters sat waiting for his arrival. After a brief introduction from their teacher, the mini ballerinas performed a brief routine which received a round of applause from their VIP visitor. A second routine ended in a curtsy and a bow from the children prompting a whoop of appreciation from Harry. The Duke of Sussex demonstrated his natural paternal instincts when he crouched down to speak to the youngsters, shaking their hands and encouraging the rest of the group to come in closer so they could hear him speak. The prince asked Emmanuel Lester, 5, what his favorite part of the class was and was told the ballet challenge. Intrigued, Harry, 34, Asked what that was and teacher Jade Groves explained that it was when the children practiced their balance by standing on one leg with a plastic disc on their head. Do you guys want to show him? She asked the children, and they all stood up. Then to the surprise of his press team, Harry mimicked them by standing on one leg and putting his arms out. You wobbled, one teased him. He effortlessly engaged the excited boys and girls by asking their names and how long they had been taking ballet lessons. When one of the group replied, 100 years, Harry smiled and said, wow, suitably impressed. Earlier on Prince Harry was keen to discuss baby sleeping habits when he met a young mother during a visit in West London. In a touching moment, Harry knelt down and spoke with Maria Ahmad, who met the Duke with her three-month-old daughter Naz. Afterwards, M. Zamad told reporters, he was so excited and happy about the baby. Before she admitted that he asked about sleeping habits of her baby. She added about meeting the prince, it was a nice surprise. He is a good person. Naz also appeared to enjoy meeting the prince as she gave him a delightful smile as he knelt before her and her mum. The light-hearted moments came after a serious round-table discussion about youth mental health issues where Harry raged about the perils of social media. In a frank remark he said, social media is more addictive than drugs and alcohol and it's more dangerous because it is normalized and there are no restrictions. His statement comes just 24 hours after Harry and Meghan launched their own Instagram account, splitting from the joint Kensington Palace account they previously shared with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. An aide pointed out that his brother, the Duke of Cambridge, had previously said that at the heart of social media was the idea of bringing people together, but it had sadly been abused by some. While there has been nothing about the YMCA visit posted on the account, it will be used as a way for the couple to communicate with followers about causes close to their hearts. Prince Harry reiterated his concerns about the ills of social media and online gaming, calling out Fortnite for the addictive pull they have on kids. But, he added, we are in an exciting time because everybody in this room has an opportunity to actually make a real difference so that young people coming through are less connected to their phones. They can be as connected as they want to be but they have to have human connection as well. Without that human connection when you do have a problem you have nowhere to go and the only place you might go is online and you probably getting bullied. During his visit Harry also chatted with residents who live in YMCA accommodation as well as those who help with the YMCA's Mental Health Champions program. He also met with parents and young children who use the nursery service run by the group and heard about the hashtag I am whole campaign. The campaign, developed by the NHS and YMCA, encourages young people to speak openly about their mental health issues. Harry said charities had to be better at telling the success stories.
most of the people I've met who've been through a really dark place, 99% of them have come through it and found mechanisms to carry on with their normal life or have made serious adjustments in their life to be able to cope. You, as charities, I don't believe necessarily put those people forward. Those are the icons, the people that young people need to see and hear their stories. There is too much negativity surrounding mental health. No wonder it's so hard for young people to actually talk about it. The work was carried out as part of the Royal Heads Together campaign to promote an open dialogue on the topic. Heads Together is a mental health initiative headed by the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. YMCA South Ealing is part of the YMCA St. Paul's Group, which provides services across London and is one of the largest in Europe. The association provides housing for 150 young people who are dealing with a range of problems such as homelessness, mental illness, recovering from substance misuse, or are fleeing domestic violence. Some 17,000 people are aided by the group's mental health services in England and Wales every year, using a range of workshops and mediation services.